So I got my uh, beginner FPV equipment in today. Um, not finding a lot of information online with what I want to do. So figured I'd start out with uh, a video of my own um, documenting of what my uh, temps are going to be. Uh, started off with the uh, DJI. AVL 5.8 video link with the receiver there, the uh, cloverleaf antennas or mushroom antennas, I guess it's just a cover, really. And uh, transmitter, it's got a nice fan on it, kind of loud actually. Uh, take 6S up to 6S, uh, so that's uh, great. That's what my uh, Hexacopter runs off of, so uh, testing with an old six cell pack from my uh, uh, helicopter days. Kind of poofy, but good for testing. Um, the receiver powered it with a little Turnigy two cell battery, just what I had on hand. The JST connector worked with a little to JST adapter I had made a long time ago. Um, comes pre-soldered with a Dean's connector on there. Not sure if I'm gonna solder something else on or not, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So it's on the transmitter and on the receiver. So uh, we'll see what we want to do there. Um, cool thing with the tr uh, receiver, excuse me, is the power has two leads. Um, one obviously plugs into the uh, receiver, but then the also can other other end can plug into your whatever monitor you're going to use. Um, since I'm just trying all this out, I'm not going to spend money on a nice uh, um, Black Pearl or Lily Put monitor for now. I just got a cheap $15 backup camera off Amazon. <laughs> uh, did a little test with my uh, Roku in the living room. Walked outside. Got some video. Uh, pretty well, actually. Um, figured I could have walked longer with a three cell battery for the receiver. Um, that's the max it takes. So two cell. Probably could have had a little bit more power. But, uh, but yeah, we'll uh, connect right up. Just like a uh, like that, and we'll power both both the uh, receiver and the monitor. So that's cool for this test. Uh, I suspect my main monitor will have its own power supply. Uh, either that or I'll get a solution. But uh, the main things I know that I'll have to do is for the uh, input, it um, has a pinout here on the transmitter and get it to focus here. Uh, come on there, bud. You can do it. There we go. Um, so I got AVN, ground, um, UART, which I believe is a uh, signal and uh, battery, ground, and uh, positive. So the video in, the cable they supply, uh, has a connector all wired up like that, but the other end is a 3.5 millimeter uh, three-prong jack, not prong, sorry, section. So you got ground, uh, video, and I suspect uh, either it's not utilized or it'd be audio possibly. Um, I did a test with some alligator clips, and uh, that's how I found those. So I'll have to cut the end and solder on uh, some uh, wires to figure out with what I'm going to do with my GoPro. Um, I'm going to be mounting the GoPro on uh, the uh, DJI's uh, Zenmuse gimbal, and. Uh, that came in the mail, but I ordered the 
phantom version by mistake had to send it back to get the uh, standalone version with the gcu so nice tip there is unless if you're plugging into a phantom you need to buy the gcu version uh, no one told me that so i couldn't find any information dgi doesn't talk about it it's kind of a kind of a little annoyance more ridiculous thing is that they price them the same so the uh phantom version and the standalone version of the gcu is both around you know 370 or so depending on where you can find them so uh, i know the zenmuse has a cable that plugs into the usb plug i got mine charging right now it will plug in uh to the usb to uh, output video so that's another thing i could not find information on is how people were setting up the gopro the zenmuse and the avl 5.8 system and um, getting their video come across uh, everything i'm seeing is just everyone has the iosd in the middle which uh I don't think should be a requirement, so I'm out to find a solution that does not require it, which uh, I'm not against getting an IOSD, I just don't want to do that right off the bat. So uh, this is what this uh, little uh, s set of videos will cover, and uh, hope to get my gimbal back probably by a couple days. Um, just sent that back this morning. so. Hopefully get back in time for the uh, weekend coming up here. Um, so stay tuned and we'll find out uh, what happens. Thanks for watching.